Greetings, my family in Christ. I hope you are doing well today. Here's a little comical look at a, uh, looks like it could be a robber bee trying to get to the front of the flower for the pollen and it keeps moving on him. Uh, kind of interesting and unique. You don't really see that every day. And we're blessed that we still have some pollinating flowers around and uh, I guess this bee is taking advantage of that. It is winding down in the garden. I'm having to water out here. It is so dry and today is going to set a record, maybe get to 84 degrees. So we are winding down in the garden, but we still have some really pretty uh, things to, to look at as far as the late bloomers are still trying to hang on and with the pretty weather that we've had. So, it is still trying to show us some beauty so i am like i said trying to water so i saw that and interrupted my watering so you might see my hose out here and i will have to go back around to where i wanted to start this video at uh, but i ended up starting it in the wrong place so we'll wander back around here and um see See where we're at with things and we'll pass a few late blooming flowers the marigold there is is really looking good i'm glad for it and the black eyed susan and my millet fell over i guess no, no birds are after it so it just kind of got weak in the stem and here is what i wanted to start the video at isn't that kind of neat can you tell what it is it is heart-shaped red bud leaves. And I was hoping they would hang on until I could do today's uh, video to show you. And there is some more. And you can see on the ground all of these heart-shaped leaves that are really, really cool. So we won't dwell on that too much. We've already seen some of those. But I wanted to think about heart and love and today we're we're nearing the end of john 10. um so let's just let's just look at that john 10 verses 17 through 21 the reason my father loves me is that i lay down my life for the sheep no one takes it from me but i lay it down on my own accord i have authority to lay it down and authority to take it up again this command I received from my father. The Jews who heard these words were again divided. Many of them said, He is demon-possessed and raving mad. Why listen to him? But others said, These are not the sayings of a man possessed by a demon. Can a demon open the eyes of the blind? So I really like this, studying and meditating on this couple of things came to mind. One, Jesus is pointing out that no one is going to lay down his life against his will. It will be his will. And he tells them something that's probably pretty mystifying, that he will take it up again. And they're probably thinking, this is just not real, this is not right. That's why they were divided. And the other thing that struck me is he is telling them that he, he will be laying down his life for his sheep because he loves them. Words for them to think about and to contemplate. And of course, at that time, it probably didn't make a whole lot of sense. But as time went on, things probably came together a little bit. And the Japanese maple is turning red. We'll see it pretty bright. So... Sorry to interrupt myself, but God gave us this John 10. Read, read it, and and be one of His, become one of His sheep. He will call your name. You will know His voice, and you will come to Him, and be receive all of His blessings. And on top of that, eternal life. We are so blessed, my friends, to believe in this Savior that laid down His life for us at his father's direction and at his will seek your blessings amen